Hello, hello everyone. It is raining outside. Just listen to the rain. Okay, just uh, kidding. So today we are going to talk about the latest version of Femora 10. So the, we have Femora 10.7, and I saw some claims uh, on Facebook and on YouTube about this version, and people say that oh, do not download it and do not install it. Uh, it is terrible and uh, stuff like that. So many bugs in the program and crashing and laggy. By the way, I, I just want to uh, confirm uh, that it, this version is not very bad. It's, um, it's good in my opinion, uh, especially about the performance. Because uh, in previous version, I, I faced with the crash and, and lag uh, so much on my computer. Uh, but this version is uh, better. It is just smooth and I love this. By the way, there's some bugs, uh, some bugs in the program, bugs, errors, some, yeah, some, some bugs in the program that you may want to know. Okay, I will show you uh, what's the, the errors and uh, what you need to do when you uh, want to upgrade to this version. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, so this is my Vimora 10.7 uh, 10 and actually I just finished my daily vlog and uh, it's just a short video. A uh, two minute video of me and my, my girls uh, in a shopping mall. Uh, so you see on the timeline, so the first thing I noticed when I upgrade to this version is that the the scrolling scrolling action uh, on the timeline is disappear. So uh, let me see, uh, let me show you uh, what I mean. So normally you want to uh, zoom in and zoom out the timeline. You can press this button, right? Uh, and this is uh, zoom out the timeline. And this is, the, this is the button to view everything on the timeline. And there is another way. When you press and hold your control key on your keyboard and scroll your mouse, you can string, string down the timeline or straight out the timeline. But now it disappears. So, okay, uh, let's press and hold my control key. And you see, I cannot use my, um, my, my wheel, my mouse wheel to string, uh, string the timeline or extend the timeline. So this is the first uh, box. But maybe Wondershare will fix it very soon because uh, when we have a new, a major upgrade, uh, 10.7, they, they will release a new 7.1, 0.2, 0 0.3, and stuff like that. So that is the first, you know, the first box. And the second one is about the speed. Normally, when we want to uh, change the speed of the video, we have two options. Firstly, we can select the speed option uh, right here. I'm sorry so this is a speed option right here and you select it then you can select slow or fast or normal or reverse uh, it is the first option and the second option you can you can press and hold your control key again uh, let me say this and then move your mouse uh, so this is move your mouse to the edge of the clip and then you can speed up or slow down the video easily in all the version but now in this version uh, it just disappear okay so another another bug in the program. So maybe you have to take care of this if you want to uh, to upgrade to this version. Maybe you have to wait until they release uh, 10.7.1 or stuff like that to fix it. Hopefully, Wondershare will see this video. Okay. And another thing, um, another thing in the program when you upgrade to this version is about the the film stock. Uh, so normally we have some film stock uh, effect pack that we downloaded to our computer. And when we upgrade to this version, we have to download all of them again. Um, but actually, you can do it easily. Uh, in your account, you go to your account, and then you go to My Effect, and then you can download and install all the free pack again. Okay? And if it is a big deal for you, then just keep the current version because I don't see any, uh, that I don't see so many chances in this uh, version. Okay? Uh, and another thing is about the transition effect and about the effect pack uh, that we have in the software. Now we have to uh, download all of them again. Uh, so I think it's normal because uh, whenever we have a major upgrade and then uh, we have to download uh, all the effect that we want to use again. And hopefully, uh, maybe in the future, Wondershare will yeah, we find a solution for this uh, this issue because so we have to download the transition effect and uh, effect pack again again and again and they ha they don't have the the option to download all the effect at the same time normally in femora 10 um, 
uh, I'm sorry, normally in uh, Filmora 9, we have a default effect pack on their website and we just need to download, uh, download that pack and then install on our computer and we are done. By the way, now we have uh, online resources so we have to, to download and re-download all the time. Okay, to download one effect, all you need to do is to uh, click here uh, to download because they don't have the, the option to download all the effect uh, at once so it would be better by the way it's okay and this version is uh, yeah nothing changed uh, and one more chance I think it uh, we have more elements in this version uh, okay so all, all of this here is are the same so we don't have any chance here uh, but in the elements uh, I can I can see that there's uh, more countdown video uh, countdown overlay so we have 55, 55 more countdown video here. Uh, this is the latest version and, and luckily all of these are free. For example, this one and this one, uh, we have all this beautiful countdown. So we just need to double click to download it and then we can drag and drop it to our timeline. And it's two, you know, two minutes and then we have the countdown here. is very nice cool. right and we have the countdown here so it's uh, great for a gym video and something that you want to do okay so that that is about the countdown and another chance in the program is about the silent detection so in previous version we have silent detection feature but it is just better and now it is officially okay so for example when we select the video on the timeline we see this button so whenever you want to uh, find the silent in your video or your project uh, you need to click here and then you have the tutorial here and also you uh, set some parameter and find the silent in your video and you can export it to your timeline okay maybe i will uh, i will make another tutorial about silent detection for you if you want okay and then let's close this one another uh, another chance in the program is the the right click menu so they rearrange the right click menu for example normally when we right click at this video uh, we have a list of, of all the feature here but now they rearrange it uh, uh, to rearrange and create some category for example we have the video category audio category color animation speed and effect so yeah uh, i think this menu is is fine for me uh, especially uh, when i edit on my uh, my laptop screen because it is very small uh, so it's better to have this kind of category uh, otherwise it is uh, long like this so we need a bigger screen okay that is everything that is all the chain uh, in the software that I found. So I think there's no problem to, to upgrade to this version. And some people want to downgrade it to go to the, the older version. For me, I always want to have the latest version. And um, I think this version is good. The performance is good, but it's just my opinion and in my case. And if you have any problem with this version, just let me know in the comment section below. And for your information, I still have the discount coupon code for Filmora 10. If you want to purchase the software, just use the discount coupon code in the description to save your money. Okay, that's enough for today's video. Goodbye and see you again.